watching News 8. The Gatesinger Company is presenting curtains on stage at the historic Gates Hall in Pultneyville. Performances tonight at 7.30 and again tomorrow at 2 and 7.30. Delighted to welcome two of the actors from the show to the program, Kevin Hayes along with Kit Hohenboken. Great to have you both here. Welcome. Thank you for Thank having you. us. All right, uh, curtains. Uh, it says underneath the musical comedy Who Done It. All right, Kevin, give us a sense of what's happening here. All right, so the main, the main whole plot line of the, of the story is... Uh, opening night, the leading lady is, uh, she collapses on stage right after the bows happen, and then she's, she's rushed to the hospital. And then it's later revealed uh, by the detective mm -hmm. that she was murdered. So it kind of sends it into this whole kind of, well, who done it? So it's kind of a play within a play, yes, right? Yes, correct. You play Bobby Pepper. How does Bobby factor in? Yes, so Bobby is not only the choreographer of the play within the play, he's also the star of it. Okay. So he's, <laughs> he's, very, he's very aware that he's like a big shot and he's, he's kind of full of himself at times, sometimes as well. Sounds like he could be a suspect as well. Very possible, yeah. Okay, <laughs> not that we're looking to give anything away. Mm -hmm. Kit, let's turn to you. Uh, you're the detective, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, talk about your character and uh, some of the challenges that he's facing. Uh, so he is a detective, obviously, uh, with the Greater Boston Police, aside of the Homicide Division. Yeah. Um, as far as the character himself, he falls in love while he's on the case, which is rather unfortunate, but, <laughs> you know, it happens. It does. Um, as far as me personally playing this character, one of the greatest challenges I've had is uh, the accent, because I'm not from Boston, yeah. uh, if you couldn't tell. So that has been something that's been a challenge, but I've had a lot of fun working with that. We have a, a fantastic... Um, dialect coach who's been helping me with that. So that's the challenges I've been facing. All right. <laughs> Kevin, you opened up last weekend. Uh, uh, first of all, how did it go? And what do you hope audiences who show up this weekend uh, will take away from curtains? Um, well, first off, the opening weekend went very well. Um, we had a lot of nearly sold out crowds, especially Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Um, the thing I want people to kind of take away from the show is don't assume anything. Because if you do that in your show, you're going to be completely sidewinded when, you, when it gets to the end. Yeah. <laughs> we like that. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. just kind of go with it and see how it plays mm -hmm. out. Uh, great. Well, listen, uh, Curtains, uh, we're looking forward to this weekend's shows. Uh, we appreciate you taking the time to come in. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We should mention as we go, uh, our colleague uh, Alec uh, Richardson is in the cast as well. Uh, and we're excited about that. If you want to check it out, uh, still time to get your tickets online, gateshall.com, or try and get them right at the door at the historic Gates Hall as well. For more information on curtains, we've got it posted on our site at rochesterfirst.com.